Jerry Royce is one of the few major leaguers to play in four different decades, with a career stretching from 1969 to 1990. But he was best known for his nine years with the Dodgers, including a no-hitter in 1980 and a World Series title in 81. Our Jim Hill caught up with Royce for this week's edition of Boys in Blue. Boys in Blue, sponsored by Jacoby and Myers. Little number back to Rice. He picks it up. He's got a no hitter. Jerry Rice at 31 years old has done it. A no hitter. Jerry, what's what what's your mem the most memorable moment you have of being a Dodger? Oh, that's easy. Fifth game of the World Series in 1981 at Dodger Stadium. We fell behind two games in New York, came back, and won three one-run games to take the lead in the series. Then after a day off, a rain out, and then finally playing the game, we beat the Yankees, uh, winning the series four games to do. Two, Jim, you know, as a kid, growing up in the Midwest, in suburban St. Louis, one of the dreams I had, just like kids everywhere, was to play Major League Baseball, and second, if I was fortunate enough to do that, to play in a World Series. And I hoped it would either be Cardinals against the Yankees or Dodgers against the Yankees. I got half my wish. You had the reputation of being a good pitcher, but you also had a reputation of being a prankster, and sometimes the prankster part of you overshadowed the good pitcher that you were. Well, th those are things I just can't control because it, it's a lot of perception with, with people as to how they view me. Um, there were I had some real good seasons and I had some seasons that were okay and then there were a couple of bad ones thrown in there as well. But four out of five days, that's 80% of the time, I was about having fun. I learned early on from Willie Stargell. Uh, the umpire says play ball, he doesn't say work ball. And I made sure that I played just as hard as I worked. It's almost like you and uh, you're describing not only yourself, but you're describing Lasorda. Maybe that's one of the reasons why you two had a very special relationship. Uh, special is a good way to put at it, put it, because there were times we went head to head. Not many people heard about it. I told them one time. <laughs> um, I said, he came out to the mound, he's gonna take me out of the game. And I stopped him, I said, get off my mound. He says, your mound? I said, yeah, this is my mound, this is where I work. I'll let you know when you can come out. He said, who gave you this mound? I thought, I said, well, you did. He said, that's right, I gave it to you and now I'm taking it away. Bring in the right hander. <laughs> and that's what happened. When you came to the Dodgers, was it almost like culture shock to you because of the way they did things and especially with Lasorda? Especially with Lasorda. I walked into the Houston clubhouse in early April when I joined the club and immediately he sits me down even before I could get dressed and gives me the rundown on why he loves the Dodgers. <laughs> so I got the $5,000 speech and I thought as I'm listening, did I make the right decision coming out here? Is this the way it's going to be every day? I found out that it was going to be that and a lot more. Boy, was it fun. You do know how lucky you are, how lucky you have been to have uh, participated in this game and to make, to make major contributions not only on, but off the field as well. Oh, Jim, let me tell you, I was blessed, and it, and it never was lost on me. You know, every day before I went out on the field, I made a trip into the bathroom or wherever there was a mirror. And I looked at myself in that uniform saying, I, I got the dream, everybody else, well, they fell by the wayside. But I'm living the dream that I had ever since I was five or six years old. I just sit back and, and <laughs> I know that if I'm ever fortunate enough to go before the good Lord up in heaven, I'd look at him and I, the first question I'd ask him would be, why were you so good to me? Yeah, yeah. Because that is the, that is the way to best describe my career.